Welcome everyone to SAP's Business by Design, Feature Pack 3.0, High Level Overview and Demo. Uh, my name is Ken Long. I am a Service Advisor here at Equal Plus Consulting, an SAP partner. For more information about our company and our experiences with small and mid-sized companies, I invite you to visit our website at www.equal-plus.com. I would like to give you around a 20 minute overview of SAP's Business by Design, Feature Pack 3.0. Uh, some of the topics I would like to include are, what can Business by Design do? Uh, what are work centers inside Business by Design? An overview of the homework center. How do I access the help inside Business by Design? Uh, I'd like to talk to you about Microsoft integration. Uh, what are extension fields? Mobility. And how long does it take to implement Business by Design? All right, what can Business by Design do? Uh, business by Design is a complete business application that allows you to start with the functionalities you, you need now and as your company grows you can add more later. Uh, business by Design is a SaaS solution that means no more servers to maintain, no more hardware or software to upgrade. All data is maintained at SAP's state-of-the-art data warehouse. Uh, business by Design is based on a monthly prescription with no hidden costs. Uh, this means you are getting an ERP solution at a lower cost to you, the small and mid-sized companies. Uh, Business by Design software runs your entire company for you, from lead generations to customer invoicing to reports and analytics. Uh, the great thing about Business by Design is you know, you can start off with a simple CRM starter package um, and then decide to upgrade when your company grows and then your, your system will have no real downtime. You can keep your system running the whole, entire time. Do a change project and then add the new modules and functionalities. After the change project is completed, the two systems are merged into one another and now your by, by design system has new modules with more functionality. Uh, business by design keeps the information of your business at your fingertips. Instead of having your accountant get back to you with you know, sales reports or forecasts, um, the CEO can quickly gain all that information he or she needs in seconds. Um, no more entered timesheets into one system and then going into another system to get product info. No, this can all be done in one system and away from the office. Uh, business by Design is mobile friendly, meaning you can get all sales reports and even enter in expense reports all from your iPhone or Blackberry. Uh, so what are work centers? Let me go ahead and drill into the system. And work centers are like modules. Uh, there, are, there are many different work centers uh, like account management, uh, corporate performance. Um, each work center allows you to drill down into the information or task you desire. These work centers are cu uh, customizing so each end user will only be assigned a work center he or she is responsible for. The marketing manager is probably not going to have access to the HR work center unless he or she plays both roles inside that company. Uh, work centers can be moved to different locations to make sure to making accessing them easier. So if I would want my sales work closer to my home work center, I can actually drag and drop my sales order right here. Make things a little bit easier. All right. Overview of the home work center. So let's go ahead and drill into home work center. Okay, in the home work center, and end users are able to do a lot of different duties related to their business. Uh, first thing a user needs to do is probably check uh, their computer settings. So if I come down here to the self-service overview, and all the way down here to the bottom, I can check my computer settings. Um, now, when I run this check, it's going to check and make sure my you know browser settings are correct, and let me know if there's any additional steps I need to take. Uh, usually, if there's an issue. Um, you know, a simple click of the adjust button will, will fix your problem. Uh, the home work center dashboard is where you can set up reports. Um, let me actually show you uh, your learning content. Yeah, your learning content uh, you can access right here. Now your learning content is tailored to how many work centers you actually have. Um, usually a marketing associate or marketing manager is only going to have a few work centers maybe like four three or four work centers now these uh, 
work centers, this learning is tailored to those work centers. So you're only going to have, you know, maybe an hour or two of learning how to manage that marketing work center. Um, we drill into the overview of the home work center. You can see that I have set up my dashboard to reflect what I need to run my business. Um, I can change these reports. I'm looking at the top 25 suppliers I have in my company right now, but I can completely configure this to whatever I want. I can personalize this. I can change it around. Um, I can put what I need here to what I want to see. You know, maybe a salesperson wants to see the sales orders for the day, or uh, maybe um, the the marketing manager wants to see how many people responded to the campaign they're running. So this can all be configured to to fit their needs. Very user friendly. Uh, well, what if I have some problems inside Business by Design that I didn't know how to do? I didn't know how to create a target group um, in my learning section. I can either go back to my learning section and try to figure it out there, or I can simply just click the help button inside Business by Design. And as you can see, embedded over here to the right, uh, you have a help center. I can click, um, I can put in target group, and my help should lead me here uh, to answer my questions. <clears throat> now, if there is a question that for some reason I cannot find in the system, uh, if I would go to sap.com and enter my question in, inside the discussion postings, um, SAP has lots of service advisors and solution advisors and even developers monitoring monitoring those discussion boards so that if you ever have a question usually they get answered within an hour usually doesn't take very long to get your questions answered um, so if you do have a problem and you cannot find it there I suggest going to the discussion postings uh, to post it there uh, the next thing I would like to talk about is the personalization. You know, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the help menu and I'm going to show you the personalization section. I can personalize my settings or the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and personalize my screen. And personalization allows you to customize their own view uh, to fit their personal tastes. I mean, they can change the layout and mashups, change the background add special reports to their view. The end user can change the order of the work center, um, insert Google Maps maybe to help in locating customers, or even news feed that might help in uh, maybe planning processes. Um, okay, say I don't want my top 25 supplier uh, report right here. I uh, don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to unclick that, and I am going to go down here and add a new report. Okay, so I'm going to add a report. So as you can see, I have lots of reports that are available to me to go ahead and choose from. Uh, even if a report wasn't here, I could still save it to my home workstation, works dashboard. Uh, so I want to enter in maybe my product variants. That sounds good. So I go down here, I click add after I highlighted it, and up here I can see that it's already been checked. That's going to end up on my dashboard. So I can click save, and now I want to go see exactly where it's going to be located. So I'm going to click personal, personalized layout, and I can see it's going to be at the bottom of the screen. And now I don't really want it there, I really kind of want it up top a little bit more. So I'm going to Highlight it and move it up top to the very top. I'm going to save and close. Now, as you can see at the very top here, my uh, report is loading and should be available. Okay. And as you can see here, my information is here. I can actually drill down into the variables and change some things if I want. I can uh, refresh the data or actually view the details 
or actually make it into a graph and have that as my dashboard so I can see exactly what's going on with my uh, production variances. Okay. Uh, how long does it take to implement business by design? Well, it depends. If you are starting out with a simple CRM starter package, then and you only have about 10, 15 users, then you can probably get up and running in around three weeks. Um, it really depends on how many users you have, how much legacy data you have, and what type of package you're actually starting out with. Um, like I said, if you're starting out with a CRM package um, with you know the minimal 10 users, you know three to four weeks, I would think you'd be up and running pretty pretty soon. Now, if you're gonna have the you know the the PSP starter package with financials and supply chain management. Um, you're looking at eight to twelve weeks, depending on how many users you have. Um, if you would like, you can contact me at uh, Ken dot Lam L A H M at equal hyphen plus dot com, and I can get you a better forecast on how long the implementation will take and about how much the implement cost would be uh, or even the uh, user cost too I can fill you in on. But uh, this pretty much concludes our business by design high level overview. Uh, I'd like to thank you for attending. Uh, for more detailed demo uh, you can view our website or our YouTube channel or contact us for a free live uh, demo and, evaluate, and evaluation tailored to your company. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, you can email me or uh, visit our website. I'd like to thank you again. Have a great day.